Well, hi, friends. Welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. Where's my friend today? I brought it. It's called the Tape Measure. Yes, see, I bought this, or I got it. It was actually free at this store called Ikea. Yeah, it's a great big store, and it's really nice because I didn't have to put this thing together. But what do we use a tape measure for? Uh, maybe at your house, there's a place on the wall where your parents have been measuring how tall you get every year. So every year on your birthday, maybe you put your back to the wall and they put a pencil mark showing you grew this much or you grew this much or you grew this much. We have one of those at my mom's house where we keep measuring my son. And I'm afraid it's going to get to the point I can't reach above his head to mark it anymore. He is getting so tall. There are a lot of things that we measure. We might, a carpenter may take a tape measure and measure a piece of wood so he knows where to cut it when he's building a house or building a piece of furniture. A person making a dress would need to measure how much material they need and measure how big the person is that they're making an outfit for or, or whatever they're making. So we measure a lot of things. And when you're in school, you learn to use a tape measure. Now, this tape measure has metric on this side and U.S. standard on the other side. But it's really good to be able to measure things that we need. When you go into this big store, uh, they are encouraging you to measure what you're going to buy so that when you get home, you know where you're going to put it and where it's going to fit. It's important that we measure. Now, there's a rule of thumb that if you're building something, you need to measure two times and then cut it one time so you don't measure it wrong. But another place that we measure, which isn't a good place to measure, we measure ourselves against somebody else. We compare ourselves to somebody else. And God's word tells us that that's not wise. In fact, the Bible says it's foolish to compare yourself to somebody else. And the good news is our God doesn't use a measuring tape uh, on us to see if we measure up. He isn't disappointed if we're not advancing as someone else is. Uh, he is happy with our steps toward him. He isn't surprised and he isn't angry when we mess up. Some people see God as being mean and uh, a, a mean person and that he uh, is looking for us to mess up. That's not who he is. God delights in our big steps as well as our small steps that we advance towards him. We don't necessarily make steps towards him, I don't think. He has promised to be walking with us no matter where we go. When we go through tough times, he is with us. He's promised in his word to never leave us nor abandon us. So we are confident that, according to God's word, that he who began a good work in you will see it on to completion. And what Jesus desires most of all is that we begin to start becoming like him. And we need to stop comparing ourselves or trying to measure up to everybody else and start seeing the beautiful things that God has placed inside of us, such as his son, when we've asked his son to be our forever friend. And then it helps us to remember that we are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus. So the beauty of you and me is not what's outside. It's what's on the inside. And what Jesus wants is he wants us to become more and more like him so that the beauty of him who began the good work in you will see it on completion. Boy, there's a lot of beauty inside of you, a lot of beauty inside of me that God wants to see brought to completion. He's not done with us. He'll never be finished with us, and he's not going to give up on us. He's not going to say, oh, fooey on you. -y. He is not comparing us to anybody else because he sees the beauty in each and every one of us just as he created us to be. And he sees a lot of good stuff in each and every one of us. And we are not to compare ourselves to anybody else. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.